Okay. Now, I um, want to talk about the Oculus Rift. People, we are told, are rushing to pre-order. That's the new virtual reality system. Facebook owns it, Oculus Rift. Mm -hmm. My next guest says it'll make you seasick. Thomas Stoffrogen is from the University of Minnesota. You are saying what a lot of us have been saying for a long time. You put on that, it's the headset. Wrap around like this. Mm -hmm. You can't see anything except what's coming at you. And I get seasick. Now, is that true of a lot of other people as well? Yes, Stuart, it is, uh, including myself. Um, I can only wear that thing for a few seconds. I thought they'd mm -hmm. fixed that problem. I thought they'd, they'd done something to stop the problem. They have not? They have not succeeded. Uh, there, are, there are many reports uh, over and over again. We fixed it, we fixed it. Lots of assertions that it's been fixed, but it doesn't seem to have been fixed. Now, you've done a study of this. Uh, tell us how you studied it and what the, you know, the percentage result. How many, how many, what, what percentage of people got seasick? We uh, obtained an Oculus Rift uh, and used it in my laboratory. We had people play uh, games, uh, free games that you can download from the internet uh, in a controlled setting. And uh, we found uh, in, in one of the games that we used, 56% uh, uh, of the people who played the game got sick in less than 15 minutes. Whoa, Ooh. half the people got sick after less than 15 minutes. Hold on one second, That's right. Tom. Um, what's, the, what's the price we on We just this? got the price, $599, so 600 bucks. So it, cheap. it goes out on pre-order today, today, first time. And it's priced at $599. A lot of money paid. I take it, yeah, uh, Tom Soffergen, I take it you would not be buying one of these things? Uh, not for personal use. All right. Well, how about the other half, which did not get seasick? Did they like it? Did they play the games? Uh, enjoyed it? Yes. It, it, is, it is a very exciting piece of technology. It's very compelling. Uh, it's a great deal of fun, so long as it doesn't make you sick. Okay. Well, look, you're at a university. <laughs> you figure these things out. That's true. Can't you figure out a way to not get seasick from them? Uh, I think so, but um, the, the way that the industry has been trying to do this is, uh, well, they've been trying to do this for years and it just simply hasn't been successful. I think they're going down the wrong path and there are other ways to, to go about this that would be a little bit more helpful. Okay, in 20 seconds, tell me how they could get over the seasick problem. Well, the, um, the issue is, is that, as you say, not everybody gets sick. Some people do and some people don't, and it's about the, the differences between the individuals, uh, mm -hmm. you know, what, what makes a person susceptible versus not susceptible, and, and it has a lot to do with the way you physically move your body. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the devices that they're selling have motion trackers in them, and they could use that information to monitor the way people are moving. Uh, and that would give them a much better handle on who's at risk. And that it would be a lot more than $599, I'm sure. Tom Soffrogen... Uh, not necessarily. Oh, okay, but well, look, thank you very much for confirming my theory that the Oculus Rift makes you seasick. Tom, we appreciate your You're help. welcome, Stuart. Yes, sir. Thanks very much indeed. Just get in the back of a New York City taxi cab. <laughs> Same effect. Yeah, all right.